Hey guys. So one of the things that I'm gonna be talking about is cutting down trees. Um, now when it comes down to cutting down big trees, having a chainsaw, yeah, it does help make it go quicker. But uh, one of the biggest things that I prefer to use is a two bit ax. Um, as you can see, there's two edges to it, hence calling it a two bit ax. Um, the biggest reason why I prefer this is because one, they do last you a while and they're very easy to sharpen, easy to maintain, um, no moving parts, so less of a breakdown, plus you can actually cut more down with them and it'll help you split wood. Um, having a chainsaw is beneficial, so don't get me wrong. I do like chainsaws, it does help make it quicker. Um, but as far as cutting trees down, I prefer an axe. But when it comes down to um, cutting up that tree and you know making clean cuts, then yeah, I will use a chainsaw. Um, only when it is need be. Having a chainsaw is beneficial to making uh, cleaner cuts, quick cuts, you know, getting the wood ready to actually split and stuff like that so having both would be beneficial as long as you know what you want to use and how to use it to cut down on the amount of gas and stuff like that that you're using but also making sure that the chain on the chainsaw is sharp but you know that's only when you're cutting wood other than that, I would actually prefer to use an axe to split wood and stuff like that. Only because of the benefits within that. Using an axe versus a chainsaw for a lot more. One, it'll actually help keep you in shape, help keep you healthier, and it'll cut down on the wear and tear on the chainsaw and keep you out of um, sharpening and stuff like that and keep you out more and getting more wood put together um, along with using a log splitter where that uses mechanics more mechanics than an axe wood um, I notice log splitters yes they move slower but they have um, more splitting power stuff like that but you also have more stuff to maintain and make sure it's running properly um, or using an axe, all you have to do is sharpen a, an edge and you're good to go. Um, but other than that, one of the biggest tools that you're going to want to have would be an axe. So keep that in mind and I will show you how to actually use an axe. Um, you've seen me use it before, but when it comes down to it, I'll actually show you proper technique and um, cutting style and stuff like that so that way you can actually cut a tree properly and make sure it lands where you want it to.